Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you what I do every day to warm up. In total, my warm up takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, and I feel pretty confident about getting on and playing well after. So the first thing I do is warm up my aim, which I do on Kovacs. So if you haven't used Kovacs before, I highly recommend it, as it helps me improve my aim and warm up my aim daily. If you check my last video, you can see how to set up your sensitivity and the best settings for Fortnite. So the two games that I play within Kovacs to warm up are Ascended Tracking V2 and Tile Frenzy 180. As you can see, I use the hash with the dot on the inside and change the color to white in my settings, as this is the crosshair closest to the one in Fortnite. In Ascended Tracking V2, I aim for around 9,000 to 10,000 score and 60% accuracy to be fully warmed up for my AR and tracking game. I'll usually play around 5 to 10 games and then I'll move on to Tile Frenzy 180. Tile Frenzy 180 warms up my shotgun aim and flicks. I also have the shotgun crosshair from Fortnite and Kovacs, so watch my last video to see how to get it using the beta. For Tile Frenzy 180, just realize it only counts if the center of the shotgun hits it. So this will stop you from getting those pesky 20 to 30 damage pumps. Playing this game will show you you're probably only hitting enemies with a few pellets, which is why you're doing 30 damage instead of getting those juicy 150 plus damage pumps in Fortnite. After about 5 to 6 games of this, I'll finally boot up Fortnite as I feel my aim is good enough to start the session. So the next thing I do is go into Fortnite Creative and into a blank world. What we're going to work on now is just warming up our building. First thing I'll practice are just simple floor wall stair pushes with protection to the right, left, and on both sides. These pushes will be useful no matter what game would you play and are probably the most common push you'll do in game. Then I'll move on to double wall stair floor pushes. I play on a pretty low sense so I really have to shake my screen and throw my mouse around. This is one of the sturdiest pushes in the game, so you won't get shot down while doing this. Next I practice 90s to the right and 90s to the left. 90s are the fastest way to get high ground so you should be practicing these every day. My 90s are the simple clockwise rotation ones, so nothing crazy like mongrels. I also like to combine the 90s and double ramp pushes, and maybe throw something in at the end. After that, I practice cone jumps to the right and left. First I'll practice cone jumps into tunnels with cones, and then I'll practice cone jumps into ramping up the other way. Then move on to pushing with cones and edits, then on to cones with floors and edits, and then double cones with floors and edits. Second to last thing I'll do is practice my jump from a cone onto a level above. This is extremely useful in build fights and hard to get perfect because you have to wait to hit max jump height in order to place the floor. Lastly, I'll practice tunneling to the left right and straight. take you about 10 minutes or so and then I'll move on to the warm-up course I use in Creative. I will leave the code for this course in the screen now as well as in the description. Credit goes to Canduck as this is his advanced warm-up course that mainly focuses on editing but also throws in some building and aim practice. This course is the perfect way to finish your warm-up as you should already be warmed up and aiming and building so the only main component you're missing is editing. This course isn't that long which is why I like it as many edit and warm-up courses take a long time and don't focus on the core edits and builds you need and use in an actual match. It should take you around 4-5 to five minutes depending on how fast and warm dip you are to complete. 
I'll let the rest of the warm-up course play out to show you guys how I go through it. Overall, if you do this course two or three times, that will take you about 10 minutes. So, if you're on Kovacs for 10 minutes, rebuilding for 10 minutes, and doing this course for 10 minutes, you can get a really good warm-up in around 30 minutes. And of course, you can do these for longer if you really want to get warmed up, but that's all up to you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for future content and leave a like on this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.